What's up? Welcome to the Veda Podcast with me, your host, Davion Nicholas. Tonight, I'm sitting in a dark room. Just got finished meditating for 30 minutes. Well, yeah, about 30 minutes. Recorded my episode of The Stride, um, you know, where I, I practiced dancing for a while and I put it online. Um, so, I guess what I want to talk about today is giving up and mainly somewhere along the lines of do you have the right to give up yet so basically figuring out if it's time for you to do it or not um a really prevalent thing that was on my mind today is you know because i realize you know i'm a dancer you know obviously like we all know i want to be the best dancer in the world and i'm willing to work as hard as i need to um so obviously i was you know trying to get get there, do that, and, you know, it, it, I was kind of in the state of depression because I was sitting around, um, I had nothing to do, and I hated that. I hated that I had no project to work on. Where I live, the Wi-Fi is so bad, so uploading four TikToks a day is not an option. Not an option for, for some reason, because I can deal with uploading a podcast because that can upload while I'm asleep. I'm cool. My YouTube video can upload while I'm asleep. I'm chilling with that. But the issue is, is the TikToks because when I record one, I have to set the caption or like just put like one hashtag or something and put it up and it will literally stay on 2% for an hour. I can't deal with that. It'll take me four hours just to get four TikToks. And I'm a person who really does not like stagnancy. I don't like staying still and doing nothing. I need for things to be moving, you know? Um, so I so um, so I couldn't do the whole TikTok thing. And so the question started coming to my, well, not really the question, the feeling rather um, of, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I was just getting tired of doing it. I have something, uh, actually, no. I was just getting tired of doing it period. Like, I just didn't want to keep pursuing dance. I was getting tired of it. And so I started looking at different avenues. I started um, trying to make music on GarageBand, but it sounded so bad. And there was so much that needed to go into it that I just didn't feel like chasing that. Um, I, uh, I put a skit on YouTube today, but, you know, it was so unfunny and just so, like, weird looking that I just didn't care too much for it. I don't know. I just I, I just don't want to fully dive into something if I'm not finished with um, the thing that I was previously on, which is dance, which is being the best dancer in the world. And so I was having really like down feelings in my head. You know, it's basically it was just me sitting around all day, watching a bunch of stuff, just like searching for that connection for, with something, just searching. I went from, you know, making my video because I don't want to feel like I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. You know, I went from watching um, Caleb City, who's a funny YouTuber, to like Lennar, who's a funny YouTuber. I went from doing that to making my own skit and making some music, watching I Am Legend, the guy who gives uh, music tutorials on YouTube. Um, and then I watched Tame Impala's entire, um, entire freaking interview on Apple Music uh, with Zane Lowe, I think his name is. And I got some things from that. Um, Kevin knows so much about his craft that he doesn't overcomplicate things. Um, when he's asked certain questions about certain things in his songs, his ideas would just be, well, yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of do it, you know. And that just really made me think about dance <laughs> and the approach that I need to have to it because I have a habit of oversimplifying things. To the point where, like, today I freaking was stressing myself out because the Wi-Fi is so bad. I can't upload four TikToks a day of me dancing because Gary V says you have to produce content. Make, 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 make. Get your content out there. But, like, you know, I wouldn't say it's so much of making so much that makes me not want to... You know, it just gets me out of the mood of dancing. I'd say um, the Wi-Fi, oh my God, it's the internet. The internet is just so bad. It's legit draining on me just to get content online. It's so freaking annoying. But, you know, I did some things. Um, I noticed there's a huge difference between me dancing by myself, practicing, and me setting up a camera and practicing. Because 
it's not so much as um, me just dancing every day waiting for this thing. I'll tell you guys sooner or later, you know, maybe like next season. I've got something really special coming up. Um, I'm not going to exactly tell you what it is, but it's along the lines of a TV show. Um, but it's so I'm just. So I what I did is I got my phone and I just set it. So I was going to practice for 30 minutes. I did it. I got, you know, I clocked in like a strong 15 or 16 minutes. I, then I set up the camera, you know, uh, finagled it however I could so it'll stand up. And I just started recording myself. And I said, welcome to episode two of The Stride. Um, I'm going to be dancing for about 14 minutes. That's how much time is left on my clock. And I just started going. And I noticed I started sweating in those last 14 minutes. The first 16 minutes, I wasn't sweating because I wasn't really trying. But when the cameras are rolling and you know something needs to go up there, that puts the pressure on to try a little bit harder. It's like when I performed at my first pep rally in high school is when the, uh, the basketball coach, he said, he said, when the cameras are rolling and the eyes are watching, it makes you want to do every move a little bit harder. I remember that feeling at the pep rally. You know, so now it's when I turn the camera on, it forces me to try harder because it's different from when I just like how I pumped out a whole bunch of dance videos to the slow rush for Tame Impala. That's different. That's me putting out videos because not only do I love the artist and I love the album, but I'm trying to be the first at something. You get me? Like I'm trying to be the first dancer to make a song to every song to make a dance video to every song on the album so that when people search up dance if people ever get curious i'm what pops up but i noticed there is a lack because i there was a lot of quantity you know there's oh there's like a dozen of them that i put on my youtube channel but the quality is not good like i'm probably only pleased with about two out of the eight videos to the slow rush i put up uh no two three four five five of them five out of 12 videos I put up. Um, and I feel like that's because, you know, that's not something that I was just planning to do. It was out of the blue and I was chasing, you know, um, the wrong thing. I wasn't chasing, you know, having fun. I, like, I was just chasing being the first, uh, getting famous, getting, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I noticed that's way different from what I did today with the stride because when I, it's basically me putting up a video, The Stride, every weekend. That's going to hold me accountable to you guys. But freak you guys. It's not about you guys. It's about me. That's going to hold me accountable to me. Like, Davion, you're on stage every Saturday. It's because I, it's like I practice for 30... Like, I practice for 30 minutes dancing every day. Okay, cool. I'm dancing every day. But where is that um, competitive moment? Um, my favorite dancers, Les Twins, they said that they had a battle every Saturday. Well, in the current place I'm in, I don't exactly have a place to battle every single Saturday. So it's me making my own battle. It's like when Michael Jackson said, "When I don't have a per when I don't have a concert, I make my own concert." I'm in. Now we're talking. That's me making my own battle. I will put up about what, like 30, 15, 14 or 30 minutes of me dancing every single Saturday. And that's gonna serve as Davion, the lights are on every Saturday, which means you prepare for this. And every Saturday you put this up. Yeah, you know, every now and then you can upload a video to YouTube, but you don't have a battle to go to right now. So every Saturday it's on. And then the podcast also holds me accountable because you know, um, this just gives me the time to air out my thoughts and just keeps me productive so that I don't f go to sleep feeling like I have a day's wasted. I pumped out content and I practiced all in one podcast every single day. Um, and every Saturday is, you know, the whole dance thing. Okay, lastly, I want to finally circle around to what the heck I was supposed to be talking about is like knowing when you're supposed to quit. Okay, so I had to ask myself, you know, did I do everything I know I can do before I quit? So I was trying to make myself a website. I was like looking up an agent, you know, doing all this stuff and it was just getting exhausting and draining and whatnot. 
And then when my mom left and asked me to watch her food, I picked up a chakra book. It's just a book that basically tells you about chakras and, you know, that kind of thing. And I started reading it and I was like, I, who the heck am I to even contemplate quitting when I've been neglecting my spiritual body basically this whole time? Like, I've got some kombucha in the fridge. It's supposed to help with the gut, you know. So I'm like, I've been neglecting my health and spiritual body this whole time and it's crazy that i would even sit there and contemplate quitting when putting your everything into something into your craft into a career does not just mean working hard it means taking care of yourself too you know and which circled around to me like i read up to 21 pages of that book i came in i put on like some sounds of like people just walking around New York City or something, and I meditated for 30 minutes, um, you know, to, like, balance the brain hemispheres, you know, I don't know exactly what it could do for the chakras, but, you know, I know it's something good, something, because I definitely feel a lot more, uh, how do you say, tranquil now, like, my mind's flowing, I could actually speak, and there's not a lot of self-doubt in my head telling me to, you know, just stop and stop recording and stuff like there was earlier but yeah that's basically it so some things to highlight to not only you guys well to not only myself but to you guys too before the podcast is over is you know don't forget to have fun with stuff it's okay to have fun with stuff but goals just like Denzel said dreams without goals are just dreams I mean like so that's what I'm doing to serve as the goal every Saturday an episode of the stride that's every single week and daily is a podcast. Daily is dancing every day uh, for 30 minutes. Dancing is daily is meditating for 30 minutes every single day. Um, daily is reading something every single day, like an actual uh, physical book. You know, like these are these these goals and things. Not just me saying I'm going to do stuff, but actually setting goals and going after them every day, weekly. You know, daily and weekly. So uh, you know. I, uh, I hope you do the same, um, whatever it might be, uh, I don't know, like, if you work out or something, maybe, like, set your daily goal to do a certain amount of reps, um, set your weekly goal to test something, you know, like, I don't know, I don't really know how working out goes, I don't really work out, I'm kind of, like, naturally muscular, but not, like, super muscular, um, Okay, let's switch it. Say, like, if you're a musician, you know, obviously you're a musician, you should be putting yourself out there. So maybe you could set your goal to, I don't know, if you're a producer or something, make a beat every day, you know? And every weekend, pick one of those beats and upload it. I don't know, something like that. Something. If you're in my circumstance and a Wi Fi is garbage and you really don't want to be waiting that long because it's genuinely exhausting. Alright guys, so thank you again so freaking much for listening to the Vative Experience podcast with me, your host, Davia Nicholas. I say the same thing, legit every podcast, but um, yeah, make sure whatever streaming platform you're on, you know, give me a give me a rating or something. Let me know what you think of the podcast, you know, every single night, 1130 Eastern Standard Time, you can come back and there'll be a new podcast up, I promise, and um... Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, check out my socials too. It should be on the description of the platform. Whatever. Uh, the description in whatever platform you're on. I know especially, you know, Apple Music and Spotify. Uh, Apple, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Sorry. But yeah, it should be there. All right, and I'm done. Peace out, everyone. And I hope you all have a good night. Uh, yeah, that was awkward. All right, I'm out.